In this tutorial, we'll cover ways you can create and edit curves in Form Z. The curve tools and the draw suite of icons are used to create curves directly. The NURBS curves tools, located down at the bottom, let you create curves from vector lines and reconstruct existing curves with different sets of controls. Information on the other curve tools, such as Curve Attach, Blend, and Merge, can be found in another tutorial. Let's begin by looking at the Draw tools first. Let's choose the Vector Line tool. And in the Tool Options palette, we'll make sure we have the 2D surface icon selected, and we'll click a few points. Each point becomes a control point of our vector line, and then we double click to end the line. Notice that each of the control points can be moved, and we maintain a straight vector line between each of those control point positions. Undo, and let's try the Bezier Spline. Now, waiting for two clicks for each of the control point positions. The first click gives us the control point position, and the second click is our tangent handle, which controls the curvature through that control point. We will double click to end, and now if we were to go back and modify that shape, we can move the original control point, and we can also move the control tangent handles. Let's undo that, and let's try the point spline. This generates a spline through the points that you click on. So notice we get a blue point, which is a control point in which the curve goes through that click position. And if we were to modify those control points, you can see that we can maintain that curve through those positions as we modify its shape. Let's undo that, and let's try the spline tool. The spline tool is a NURBS spline. So you can see that each click creates a yellow control point position, and then the, there's also an additional blue control that's added for us, which is on the curve itself. So we can move either the original control point positions of where we clicked, or we can move some of the blue controls which are automatically derived for us, which are on the actual spline curve itself. As soon as we click on some other tool or begin some other operation, the controls are no longer visible. There's two methods to bring the controls back visible again. One method is to pick the object with the pick tool, and then if you look in the tool options palette, you can see that there's a show controls button. So we can show controls or hide controls of any selected object. A second method would be to right click on the object and choose the show controls parameter, which can be turned on or off by simply right clicking on the object. Now let's look at the NURBS curve tools down at the bottom. We have make curve, which converts an open and close vector line into a NURBS curve, or we have the reconstruct, which will reconstruct any curve into a new NURBS curve with new sets of parameters. Before we can use the make curve tool, we need an open or close vector line. So let's go to the vector line drawing tool and create an open vector line. Choose the make curve tool, and there's only two options for this tool. If we look in the tool options, you can see we can generate a spline curve or a spline curve through the points. Let's leave it at the deep fault of a spline curve. Click on the vector line and it becomes a smooth NURBS curve with a yellow control point at each of the original control points of the vector line and an additional blue control that's automatically added that is right on the curve itself. If we want to reconstruct that, we can click on the Curve Reconstruct tool, click on the curve, and in the tool options it gives us the degree and the number of controls that are on that curve and we can change either of these parameters. Let's look at the number of control points first. We can modify that by typing in a number, such as 12, and clicking a blank area or hitting the return key. And you can see that we can increase or decrease the number of controls on that curve. Let's undo back to the original curve that we had here, and let's reconstruct it again. Because this time I want to look at the degree. The degree is the amount of smoothing that's applied through that original vector line. So if I set it to a degree of 1, then there's no smoothing applied through each of the control points. And it looks almost like a vector line at this point. Let's set the degree to 2. And you can see that there's just a little bit of smoothing uh, through that curve, and the curve no longer goes through the original yellow control points. Let's change the degree of smoothing to 3. And you can see that there's a lot more smoothing applied to that curve, and it begins to deviate uh, further from those original yellow control point positions. And we can set that as high as we want. In most cases, a degree of 2 or 3 is fine for most smooth NURBS curves. Now let's look at the other option for the Make Curve tool. 
Let's go back to the original vector line that we had and choose the spline curve through points option. Now with the make curve tool active click on the vector line and you can see that there's a spline curve that's generated through each of the original control points of that vector line. And just to demonstrate that the make curve tool works just as easily on closed shapes, I'll take the vector line tool and create a closed shape by clicking right at the start position and making a closed boundary. Let's use the make curve tool, click on that vector line, and it converts it into a smooth spline curve. I would also like to mention that you can delete control points on your curve. With the pick tool active, simply right click on any of the control points and choose the delete option and the control point is removed from the NURBS curve. In this last example, let's say we want a smooth spline curve going through the tops of our columns. We'll start by drawing a vector line and snapping to the top of each of the columns and then we'll bring it back down to the reference plane. So there's our path and then we'll use the make curve tool and in the tool options, we'll leave it at the default, which is a spline curve. Click on the vector line and a nice spline curve is generated, but it's not going through the actual point positions where we clicked. So we'll undo. Let's change it to a spline curve through points. And now when I click on the vector line, I can make a curve in which it fits through those original click points exactly. So now our smooth spline curve fits through each of the tops of the columns. This concludes the Curves tutorial.